Greetings Tankers! My name is Adam Selgrove and welcome to a very special episode of Best Replays. This week, we are at Tank Fest! So, for this one-off episode, we decided to feature tanks that you can see right here in person at the Bovington Tank Museum. So, let's get straight into it! Starting our tour with the top of the British medium line, the Centurion Action X. The curious looking tank is a fusion of Centurion Mark 7 hull and the experimental Action X turret design. Designed without a mantle to improve the armor sloping and crew protection, very few were built and only a single one survives to this day, right here in the Bovington Tank Museum. And Sir Charles Featherduster, love the name, from the NA server is showing us how the tank is meant to be played. Hull down at medium distance. Make the most out of the fantastic 105mm gun. But while the Hesh shell offers great damage and above average penetration, it's just about not enough for the side armor of this STRV. However, up against an FV4005, it's party time! And while the remaining friendlies decide to close in and assault the town, Sir Charles stays out wide, providing covering fire while denying strong defensive positions to the enemies. Once again, a wide flank provides a perfect firing angle. But with the list of allies being ever shorter, flanking and distance are not the words we're going to be hearing for much longer. What a shot! With a 705 applying the cap pressure, Sir Charles is once again there to support. Yikes! Now that was unexpected! Whoa! Now this is looking tricky! Oh, that's a quick reaction! Nice! Yeah, what a great win! GG's! Great display of skill by Sir Charles Featherduster from across the pond. Playing the tank to absolute perfection and nailing those clutch shots when it mattered the most. Dealing a total of 8136 damage, 9 kills and scoring 1528 base experience in that insane final stand definitely makes this a worthy feature. Congratulations on well deserved gold and our best replay style. We continue our museum tour with this Carnarvon in the hands of JD Bumblebee. And another bit of history. Carnarvon was a curious merge of a Conqueror hull and a Centaurian Mark II turret. As the Conqueror turret was not ready in time, this hybrid of a tank allowed the crews to get accustomed to the new tank even though this version was never meant to see action. But you can see it live in action right here in Bovington. Now the Action X version, well, in the words of a poet, a rolling contradiction, partly truth and partly fiction. But let's cut the talk and see if JD can walk the walk as a top tier on Malinovka. Well, that's not a bad start. However, this is where the fight truly begins. 
With this quick firing 20 pounder gun and a strong turret, this tank is a perfect close range hull down fighter. The hill is clear and the tally says 4,500 damage while barely breaking a sweat. Not bad at all. Although, with just under 6,000 HP between the enemy tanks, these six shells in the magazine might not be enough. Nevertheless, JD still puts a couple of blind shots down the range. Oh! Well, that's all she wrote, right? Could I suggest a bit more trigger finger discipline next time? I mean, assistance isn't bad either, eh? Wait a second. What? That's a 300 IQ play if I've ever seen one. Drowning the final enemy with no shells left in the storage. Wow, what an ending! Absolutely masterful game from JD Bumblebee. Finding ways of contributing to the team even without any shells left. And even scoring the final kill. Now that's more than enough to impress us. 5,615 damage, 4 kills, 1,886 experience, and just like the title says, no ammo, no problem. Well done. And finally, I can say, engines ahead full as we feature the mightiest of tanks, the one and the only battleship, the Tok 2. Commandeering this ironclad is the winner of our Tok weekend contest, Birkbok. Adjusting their heading towards the hill on mines in a calculated and patient manner. And upon reaching the desired nautical coordinates, let the bombardment commence! Broadside exposed! Fire! Battleship at 2 o'clock! Commence fire! Brief pause in the engagement lets our captain assess the situation. And with danger coming from two sides, the assessment is not good. Well, time to get stuck in. Unleash full broadside. Ha! A critical fuel storage hit. Well, that one definitely wasn't on our radar. But when targets are elusive and HP is low, even the mighty Tog needs to take a step back. She cannot take it, Captain! Instead settling for some long-range fire. Seems to be the preferred option. 
Not content with waiting, Bergborg crosses the tee on the VK. And unleashes the full salvo against the base defenders. Ha! They're scuttled! And that's all she wrote. A glorious naval engagement with Captain Bergborg at the helm, now commemorated on best replays. The ship's log reads 3,786 damage and 1,655 base experience for our captain and winner of the TOG contest. We congratulate them with 3,000 gold and naturally our best replay style. Conveniently, it looks really good on a TOG. So well done once again. And that's it, fellow Captain uh, Tankers. I very much hope you enjoyed this special episode of Best Replays, likewise our other Tankfest content. And if you're on the scene at Bovington, come and say hi. Or you could search for that Action X hiding somewhere around. Anyway, I'm Adam Snellgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!